um, that's certainly what you'd call a game of two halves, but yeah. what a big win. A massive win, massive win. It's, 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 uh, can't speak highly enough of them, that they just keep coming up with answers. And uh, I thought first half we were excellent. I thought we were really, really good. Um, against the wind as well. Was we against the wind first half? No, we was with the wind first yeah. half, weren't we? Yeah. Yeah, sort of a cross. It was more yeah, cross wind, wasn't it? Was it a cross wind? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I can't <laughs> clue where it was. But we was. Um, I thought we were very good. We bossed the game, kept possession well enough, and then kept them high enough, you know. So, uh, and then second half, full credit to them. They come at us really did, and we we were we were hanging on in the end there. Um, but Simon's come back in, um, took his goals very very well. Was the only regret probably at half time is that you hadn't got a second goal? Because you were, we, you were dominant, weren't you? You were that dominant in the first half. Yeah, yeah, we've, we were dominant without really creating a lot of chances. You know, I can't remember the goalkeeper pulling off a lot of saves. Uh, but I felt in control of the game. You know, there was periods there that I just thought, well, we're comfortable here. And then second half, we got done from a restart, which is, is, is poor from us because we were usually quite good on them. Uh, and then it became a battle. It really did, but unbelievable, weren't they? Unbelievable. Simon Power, you've you've obviously touched on him briefly. I mean, what a talent that young lad is, isn't he? Yeah, he's uh, he's got a good future. He's got to learn the game, and obviously that's why he's with us. Uh, so he learns different parts of his game. But now, when you've got that weapon uh, that can carry the ball at the opposition, you know, it's a, it's, it's a good good uh, weapon to have. I mean, his first goal was good, but the way he's kept his composure for the second goal was even better, isn't it? Yeah, because the, the defender was trying to tap him on the, from behind, so he, he kept his feet really well, and then uh, obviously got there before the keeper rushed out, and uh, it was, it was a, a nice, <laughs> nice sight when that trickled in the back of the net. Because of the way things had gone second half and they had to win behind, and would you have been happy with a po- would you have gone home happy with a point? Yeah, you, I mean, coming here, you're always happy with a point, but it's, it's we're in it to win, you know. We, we want to win games as much as possible. So, you know, we took Mans off and put someone else on and then changed it a little bit, put Alfie on, you know. So it, it was it was going for the win, you know. We want to win games as much as possible. And so, uh, um, no, full credit to the boy. Magnificent. Absolutely magnificent. And Simon's obviously come off India. He looked as though he carried a knot. Was that... Was that anything serious at the end? No, I don't think so. I think it's, uh, we had a few knocks at the end. We were a few hanging on that were puffing a little bit. But uh, we'll recover well and we'll go again Tuesday. We've got two home games now. They're going to be our games because uh, I heard that Bradford took, got a hell of a win today. So they're going to come to us uh, in good spirits. So two home games that you know we've got to be on the front foot for. They're going to be cock a I mean, people will look at the table and say, oh, they're bottom. But they, you go and beat Chester, that's yeah. a sign of a... Magnificent, yeah, it was a hell of a win for them, and uh, they'll come with us with no fear. And it's up to us that to get the crowd behind us and uh, shout us through. I mean, every game's important, we know that, and we keep saying one game at a time. But is this next week, is that going to be crucial if you know if you can get another two victories in the, in the next well, week? Well, we look at like so, we look at the first one first of all, we've got to deal with Bradford and see what happens after that one, and then we'll concentrate on Guysley. But, Bradford first and foremost, we had a hell of a game up there and we were fortunate enough to win coming out, um, so we, we know it's going to be a tough game and now it's about us recovering uh, and being ready for Tuesday. Do you think Gates are going to have a big say in the title as well? Yeah, good side, very, very good side and uh, um, they don't lose many games, really don't lose any anyway. Mike's got them really drilled uh, and they've got some good players. Uh, and they've got to play around the Easter period. I think they've got to play York, Chester, and people and Brackley and things like that. So it's a long, long way to go. <laughs> really, is so far to go yet. And you're the first team beaten for eleven games. So that, that must mean a lot to you. No, it's good. It's good. It's the players. The players do it. The players do it. We push them out there, and they have to d- deliver. And they certainly deliver. In. First game. Back was obviously at Leamington after a little bit of a break. So you, again, it's gonna, it's been tough, hasn't it, to come here and get a result when you haven't played much football? No, you can see it in our legs. Our legs were, we were hanging on, and there's, there's a few tired bodies in there because they've put the effort in. Uh, but the more games we keep getting under our belt, it's, uh, we'll just keep rolling and see where it takes us.